A very good morning to you. You're welcome to the Breakfast in Plus TV Africa. My name is Rema Paulson. And my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Welcome to today's edition, Thursday, the 22nd day of February 2024. Yeah. Uh, February, this is a leap year, so I, I would have said maybe we have a very few uh, days to go. But it's right an extra now, day. yeah, it's it's a lot of time. Twenty four <laughs> hours, a lot of time. Uh, just just imagine you fasting twenty four hours. Mm -hmm. You know what your body will be telling you. So twenty four hours. Um, now, if I want to see how time flies and how we waste time, uh, I I tell people I recommend the traffic lights. Mm. Just wait at the traffic light for less than one minute that yeah, that light like, takes to change. Yeah. It's as if you've been there for eternity. Too long. So imagine traffic light even lasting for two minutes, how you would feel. Mm -hmm. But those are the one minute, the two minutes that we've been take wasting in sometimes. Yeah, we take for granted. Yeah, that's yeah. the word to yeah. use. By the way, I was going to ask, do you know the story about the leap year? No, Why I don't do know we the have a leap year? The particular one that you're talking about. Okay, I don't. so apparently, you know, there's a leap year um, every four, four years, years. So yeah. there's an extra day. So the reason why there's an extra day, because each year is there's actually, a day. yes, 365 okay. days and six hours. So when you um, collate the number of hours mm. every four years, it now becomes I a thought leap year. It, there was one other weird story about What's it. That? <laughs> so, so, that when you were asking me if I know the story. Yes, yeah. I do know that it's, a, uh, uh, it's four years put together. And uh, how I used to remember when I was growing up was um, that every Olympic year is a leap year. I thought Olympic But no, brought, everything is. I thought Olympic was, was the reason, was reason why? for a leap year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it so happens that it coincides. Olympic is yeah. every four years, and this year we have Olympic in is it June or July uh, in France, yeah. I think. Yeah, so uh, it's also a leap year. So people who were born on February 29th, you have oh. a chance to celebrate birthday yeah, again because this year, they celebrate every four years. Every four years, yeah. Would it have been awesome or not? If I was do born, th no. do you think it's it's better for them or it's good for them or or bad? I can't anything. really say. I, I mean, I'm not in that position, but I love the fact that I get to, you know, celebrate my birthday every year because I would be confused. I don't know. Uh, do I celebrate it on the 28th of February? Do I celebrate it on the 1st of March? So what day? Almost like it, you were not born. Do you every four years. <laughs> Like, <laughs> so I have to wait years. for it. And that means every four years, I must throw a big party because I don't get this all the time. Mm -hmm. I have to celebrate that day. Like, I have this day today. Mm -hmm. It's not going to come till another four years. So sure. let me just do a big big bash but like i said i'm going to be confused if i was in that position but i'm sure you just figure out a day maybe february 20 28 since it's still in february like okay it's supposed to be tomorrow but that tomorrow <laughs> is not coming and so yeah okay anyways um we're gonna have a good show today for today i'm grateful for the rain actually mm -hmm. um i think the weather is becoming very cool because it's been very hot in lagos mm -hmm. and not just lagos people in um abuja kanu emo but how could have been complaining about the weather? It's been so hot in Nigeria. Lagos has been lucky a little bit because it has rained more than once in mm -hmm. at least some parts. So if it rains on the island, for instance, the breeze will go to some other places, mm -hmm. you know. But in so okay, uh, Cross River had its first rain yesterday or last night. Oh. That was the first rain for, for this the year. year. Oh. But but it has rained in Lagos at least yeah. more than one time. I'm like, well, this rainy season might just be coming real soon. You just never know. <laughs> Anyways, it promises to be a great show today. We're going to be looking at what the national dailies are saying. We're also going to be talking about some, um, well, exchange rate battles that Nigeria is having right now. And the fact that um, they're looking at banning cryptocurrency as well. But also, we will um, be looking at some top trending stories. But first, let's look at our quote of the day to set the tone. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. And that is from Vidal Sassoon. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Well, obviously, you know, the dictionary has the whole um, A to Z. So it's, it's arranged in alphabetical order. And so the only place where success, because success starts with an S and work starts with a W. Let, so. me, let me just talk like a bitter person. <laughs> but, you know, uh, when, when things like this happen, I ask myself the first question, in what language 
because if I were writing a dictionary in my language, uh, work will come after success uh, <laughs> because the words are spelled uh, differently, our uh, alphabets are different and all that. Um, so sometimes it just makes me feel that um, some of the people who say these things uh, think the world revolves around English and so everything has to be how English has set it to be. But that's not the issue we're talking about mm -hmm. today. I'm just, like I said, I was just talking <laughs> like a bitter person. But that's not it. You have to put in the work before yeah. you can enjoy whatever you want to enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, if you say, let me just sit down, enjoy first before I work, what will you be what working for? What are you for? enjoying? <laughs> what are you enjoying? What, are you, what will you be working for? You have zero money in your bank account. Yeah. What are you enjoying? <laughs> <laughs> so I just don't know how that so, is. So yes, for you to be a successful person, mm -hmm. you have to put in the work. You yes. have to um, just try your best to... Um, ensure that everything that is necessary, mm. everything that is necessary for you to get to that point, you are doing it now. For instance, do you need training? Do you see yourself as um, maybe a, a TV personality, for mm -hmm. instance? Do you need adequate training for that? You can't just say, oh, no, I want to be the biggest mm -hmm. TV presenter in the world, and you're not trying to work for it. You have to put your skills to test. You have to you know, just try as much as possible that everything that is required, because it just would not fall on your lap. Yeah. If you don't put that work, you would not get the success. And that's just how it's, I think it's a principle thing. Life works with principles. It's just like sowing and reaping. So I feel like success and work is just like the farmer. The farmer mm -hmm. has to sow seeds into the ground mm -hmm. and then there's a time for harvest. So you don't just think that you will wake up one morning and just, what are you harvesting? Another man's <laughs> crops. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. So you need to sow that seed so that you can reap, you know, the fruit of your labor. And that's just what work is. You put in the work and then success comes in. And this putting of the work, it doesn't mean... Uh, it doesn't mean hardship. It doesn't mean... No, no, like no not, not even that. It doesn't mean it's meeting your uncles and meeting your aunties and saying they're the ones that are supposed to sponsor you, sponsor your business and all that. The first place you work is on yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to go to a university, you read hard, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you try and uh, buy jam form for yourself, write the jam form, get your cutoff marks, and you show your uncle and say, I've gone this far. It is easier to help you at that moment because you have put in the work yourself. So if you just go and say, okay, uh, I know I didn't go to secondary school, but I want you to buy jam form for me. Mm -hmm. I want to go to the university. No. And it doesn't work that way. So you start the work with yourself yeah. and invite others to help at some yeah. point. Because like let's say, the quote we had the other day, it was that um, if you want to really succeed in business, you have to involve others, yes, something like that. Yeah. Yes, there's, there's need for partnership. But you have to put in the work yourself, yourself right. before you can get that partnership that will... Uh, make your success even better than mm -hmm. what it is at the moment. Yeah, I agree, one hundred percent. All right, let's look at some top trending stories this morning. And this first one says Labour Party Chairman Aburi arrested in Edo State. The National Chairman of the Labour Party, Mr. Julius Aburi, has been arrested by security operatives in Edo State. Aburi was arrested on Wednesday, a few days before the party's primary election in Edo State. The arrest was carried out by operatives of the Zone 5 police headquarters in Benin, Edo State. A crowd had gathered at the entrance with only police officers and a few VIPs allowed inside. It was gathered that his arrest was the result of a petition forward, forwarded to the zone from the office of the Inspector General of Police in Abuja. Abure was captured in viral videos and pictures being possibly handled by the police officers while his supporters from the Labour Party tried to intervene to stop his arrest. Confirming the incident, the police public's relation officer of the zone, Tijani Momo, said there are, or rather there is a standing order for now that nobody should come in. Yes, the Labour Party national chairman is here and it has to do with a petition that was referred to this office from the Inspector General of Police. It was referred to Zone 5 from the IG's office. He is with us, but I cannot give the contents of the petition right now in court. When asked if he was being detained or just to take his statement, Momo said, I don't know for now. Aburi has been having running battles with some members of the party in the state over allegations of substituting candidates in the 2023 general election without the consent of the affected aspirants. 
an allegation he has denied. It was also gathered that the arrest may be connected to the factional crisis rocking the party, as a factional national youth leader was recently brutalized by some suspected members of the party. Aburi has also come under fire for allegedly mishandling party funds. So let me talk about social media for, for, for a few seconds now. You know, there's that thing that they tell you sometimes there are fake news on social media and you should not believe everything you see on social media. So there was a news making rounds um, on social media and he said Aburi was trying to commit suicide and they tried to stop him. And now the fact is, you know, there was a petition. So that's why I just wanted to say, do everything you see on social media, you know, just take it with a pinch of salt. Do not believe it and try to dig, dig deeper to the fact of the story, not just what somebody has just, you know, cooked up and served you on social media. Mm. But yeah, let's move it over to um, the actual story now. Mm. The fact that he was... So Labour Party has a lot of crises working, you know, their party at the moment. You have the, the factional leader um the the what's his name again the other man um uh, i can't even remember yes, his name the now. old man i know he has like a gray yeah, beard and and all of that um and the, i'm going to remember his name and then you have abure as well but if the inspector general of police you know is making this then i think he should be you should they should have copied him he should have known and except maybe he knew and he still went ahead and then I don't think you should now Went make him. To do what, I don't actually? think you should now make a mess of him. Like I saw videos of him sitting on the floor and all of that. It was just a lot. First of all, this is political, according yeah. to the the story. Even it is yeah. political. The people who wrote the petition are members of the party. He's been having problems, and it's a few days to the election or yeah. the primaries and all that. So it is connected to politics. And they are acting on a petition, not on intelligence that they have. They have not investigated this. We don't know the contents of the letter anyway. But it didn't show, it didn't tell us that they investigated after a petition was written. They just arrested him and disgraced him. Yeah. That's what I don't like about this. If Abure, uh, some reports said he was, uh, it was because of attempted murder. Some say mm -hmm. a lot of other very, very uh, terrible things. Whatever it is. The police should do their due diligence, get their intelligence, arrest him, prosecute him, do whatever they need to do, jail him if they have to jail him. But you don't act on a petition and disgrace somebody the way they disgraced mm -hmm. him. You said he was on the floor. Yeah. I saw the videos as well. It's, it's not funny. It's not nice for someone of that standing, yes. a national uh, chairman of a political party that is one of the greatest uh, uh, opposition parties in this country. So if you tie things like this to politics, who knows if the people who are doing this are sponsored by other political yeah. parties that feel threatened. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things are I think that was just play. against his constitutional right, his so, human rights, because you can't do that to someone who is supposed to be in at least a good position. Fine, they are not the ruling party. The NLC chairman was also brutalized at yes. the other time, and then they said they were protecting him. And we know that it was not mm -hmm. a protection for him and all that. So... Things like this, people should not just be acting, and especially the law enforcement agencies. At least respect them. Respect law enforcement their, their agencies human are breaking the law, breaking whatever it is that that we we see as law, and human rights are being violated yes. and all that. It's not right. I'm not saying whatever was in the petition he did not do, but how much did they uh, um, they they the police know or by themselves mm -hmm. that made them do what they did? It's I don't see it as a good thing at all. So the other man is Lamidia Papa. La Papa, yeah. yeah. Yes, I just remembered now. Lamidia yeah. Papa. I yeah, I, I usually um, associate his name with the pots. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I forgot <laughs> that. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next one. Um, Mephile Souza Aquabio for defamation demands 1 billion naira. Embattled former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Mephile has demanded 1 billion naira damages from Senate President Gaswil Akpabio for defamation. Uh, Mephiles lawyer Matthew Burka saying that he has defamed, he has defamed him. Because uh, you remember that when Akpabio went for a Thanksgiving uh, where they were honoring one of the South-South senators, he said that uh, Mephiles had committed so many crimes that they do not even know what to charge him with. 
And we know that uh, uh, Afabio was in the government when Emefile was doing whatever he was doing. He was part of the um, economic team, the, the economic council, where all the governors go to with the president and all that. And now he's saying that they don't even know he was doing so many bad things. And Akwabio, mm -hmm. I don't know if he even has the moral moral grounds to, to, to criticize anybody mm -hmm. at all. We, till, till date, a lot of us do not know how he got into the Senate. Mm -hmm. He and the former uh, Senate president, we don't know how they got into the Senate. We don't understand the yeah. abracadabra that went on. And he's saying this as if he didn't know anything that happened. And he doesn't know what the federal government will charge a public, um, the, with. with. Yeah. Even charges that have been dropped, the gun possession and all that, he yeah, still, still mentioned them. About I, it, I don't right? know how, yeah. how these people reason. So funny enough, um, the, 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 what Emefile is demanding is actually 25 billion. Yeah, but yeah. you know, not, not one billion. Let's let's that. be just nice. <laughs> let's be nice. <laughs> let's be nice. I know he will not get uh, twenty-five, 25 billion, billion, but the thing is, the good thing is, no matter what a Mefile is right now, no matter what he is, it doesn't give anybody the right to talk anyhow. I, I will yeah. call that talking you anyhow. Have facts. If you have facts, bring them out. I mean, I was talking about it on the show the other day. I'm like, if you want to charge the man for anything, investigate and charge the man. Why are we still talking about this? He was arrested in the first place and they said he was possessing guns. guns. Yeah, and guns. after that, they dropped it. Nobody answered for anything. You, you detained a man for a long time and Picked then came and like dropped that. the... Mm -hmm. you, just like that. Because they did not have evidence to show that this one was illegal, this one was that. And then you're now still using that. No, no. Nah. No, that's actually different. Our 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 public office holders should learn how to talk. That was not a speech that just came off his head. Mm -hmm. That was a speech he delivered that was written. Mm -hmm. So he so knew you, exactly. You, you thought of it. There was a thought yes. process to it. So if you don't have professionals to help you write your scripts, please do get Engage this. Professional. We've been talking about this all the time. They are PR experts. They are people who write speeches for mm -hmm. the president for. Choose the best of them. People yeah. who can also look in your face and say, if you say this, sir, it is not going to go down well. Yeah. Analyze everything. Mm -hmm. Because for every word you speak, there are your at least is, 10, 10 yeah. interpretations to that. Yeah. So choose the be best very one. careful. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what we, we keep talking about freedom of speech in Nigeria and the fact that, you know, especially with the media, they try to tell you, oh, you can't say this, you can't say that. But then you're seeing these politicians go off and say whatever they like. So are you trying to tell me that, you know, the law works for some people and it doesn't mm. work for others? Mm. As a media person, you should know. Mm. They keep telling. But keep, you as a you as keep, a politician, keep, you shouldn't um, know. They keep uh, blackmailing you yes. with that. Yes. You should know. Even if what you're saying things with fat, they want you to either divulge where your sources are and sometimes it's not possible mm -hmm. i can't just give my sources because yeah. of that but is it a lie deny it T tell us what say yeah, we're not expecting you as a media person but to say that the blackmail you, 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 you can it's a blackmail anyways <laughs> we'll go on a short break we'll look at the weather and when we return we'll be looking at what the national dailies are saying this morning please stay with us